Halo, the television series, is almost beyond saving at this point. And the reason it would be extremely difficult to save is from one plot point in this series, and that is the emotion palette. While there are definitely other wrong things and misdirections in this show, the emotion palette is definitely one of the driving factors of the show's continued decline. Wait, decline isn't the right word. The palette plotline has nuked the show and its chances of being good before it even began. It's one of the biggest canon changes made to the show. It completely alters Master Chief and the other Spartans as characters. And even as the characters slowly remove these palettes, it's not going to make them into the characters they're supposed to be from the books and games. In a show filled with questionable story decisions, this has to be one of the most questionable and most harmful changes made to Halo canon. Already we can see the effects it has on Chief. Chief is supposed to be someone who's accepted his role as humanity's savior and has accepted what happened to him as a child. Him accepting that doesn't make him inhuman or even emotionless. Yet the show seems to think that in order for Master Chief to be a real character, he need to undergo a sense of self-discovery. The problem is Chief is already a character defined by his actions. He knows how powerful and dangerous the Covenant are. Early in the war, one of his fellow Spartans gave his life to destroy a Covenant ship. To say you couldn't build a character around those details is laughable. Chief has become more of a character with each installment of the Halo game series, and the books only add more to his character. He doesn't need a identity crisis to make him show human emotion, or even to show emotion in his own way. He is a weapon of war, a shining beacon of hope in a hopeless conflict. Show Master Chief is unsure of himself, his loyalty to the UNSC, faltering. The very existence of emotion palettes has overcomplicated what should be a straightforward character and backstory. Chief is a soldier bound by duty and loyalty. Same with the other Spartans. By creating this plot point, you are essentially preventing Master Chief from becoming who he's meant to be. They could have easily just filled the show with flashbacks to Chief's training and parts of the Fall of Reach story. Show the audience how Chief became the Master Chief. Show why he's so quiet, why he doesn't let his emotions control him. The existence of the palette is both unnecessary and redundant, and there's absolutely no way to retcon or undo this plotline. Even if all the Spartans remove the palettes, nothing can change the fact that they were there in the first place. Spartans in Halo are Spartans because of their training and their loyalty. They didn't need their feelings suppressed to obtain that loyalty or to t obtain combat efficiency. Human beings are fully capable of doing that on their own. It doesn't mean they still don't have feelings. It means they don't show them. They don't let them get in the way. Shows change direction all the time. Game of Thrones changed constantly throughout its long season run. The Simpsons isn't even the same show anymore. Can Halo self-correct? It can, but it'll have a very difficult time doing that because the existence of the palette has already been firmly established. And it's certainly not going to correct itself this season. Anyways, I'm still going to do reviews for the remaining five episodes of the show. As always, I'll point out things I like about it, but I'm going to critique and dissect it to show what it did wrong and how we got to this point. If you want to hear more of my thoughts about the Halo show, you can find my reviews of each episode in the commentary playlist on my channel. If you like and agree with what I have to say, I encourage you to like and subscribe for more content.